Hello YouTube, and welcome to this week's episode of Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science. Our top story is actually kind of a follow-up to one we've done before. A few episodes ago, there was a story of Geobacter, a microbe discovered to produce superconductive nanowires. But now, researchers at Michigan State University are testing Geobacter's ability to clean up nuclear waste. In nature, the nanowires electrically interact with ions in the environment, becoming the microbe's food source. When stimulated to grow in contaminated soil, they eventually began feeding off the uranium, essentially neutralizing it and preventing it from leaching into groundwater. The researchers have already genetically engineered a strain to produce more nanowires, making it more effective in cleanups. And it may possibly lead to a microbial fuel cell that generates power while neutralizing nuclear waste. We go from a bacteria that eats nuclear waste to one that could fight cancer. Scientists at the University of Nottingham and the University of Maastricht are experimenting with a common soil bacteria to assist in destroying tumors. The bacteria thrive in low oxygen environments, so when they are injected into someone, they will grow in the center of solid tumors. Next in the treatment is to separately inject an inactive cancer drug. When the drug encounters a particular enzyme made by the bacteria, it activates, only affecting surrounding cells. This would allow for pinpoint targeting on a wide range of tumors too difficult to operate on and is another potential weapon in the fight against cancer. And now from the world of nanotechnology. The world record for smallest electric motor may be broken by a single molecule motor made by chemists at Tufts University. This one nanometer long molecule was observed under an electron microscope at around 5 degrees Kelvin. When electrically charged, certain parts of the molecule spun, moving it. Obviously, the temperature that the motor can operate and be controlled at is a concern. But once improved on, these molecular motors could have a number of nanotech and medical applications. We end with a quick update from the search for habitable planets. Scientists at the University of Geneva discovered an Earth-like planet using harps. This rocky little planet orbits its home star every 54 days and is on the inner edge of the habitable zone. Although this planet is potentially temperate, there is the possibility that runaway greenhouse effects could have vaporized any water on the surface. Even if this planet isn't as Earth-like as we hope, studying it will still provide insight into evaluating future exoplanets. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing, and be sure to check the links in the video description. Now for a, a important announcement. As you may or may not know, the annual DPR Jones charity event is this weekend to raise money for MSF. There is a link in the video description to a website with all the information on that event. If you can, please donate now or during the charity event. There's also a charity eBay auction to raise money with many awesome items, including a one-of-a-kind t-shirt 
designed and signed by myself. So if you can, please support that cause. Thank you.